meditation. You better not forget to thank God for everything. Walk the floor and declare for whatever you need, for your kids, for your finances, for your peace of mind, for your joy, for leading people to the Lord. Anything you have need of, pace the floor and thank God for it continually. Keep on and on and on and on and on and refuse to give up. Say, I refuse to give up. You want God to hear you for sure, so keep bugging God. Anything God has, he wants to share with you. God has no greater pleasure than to, to heal you, to save you, to give you peace of mind, to deliver you from oppression. It's your Father's good pleasure to give you the kingdom. Thank Jesus and say, thank you, Jesus, if you're sick or afflicted, or say, thank you, Jesus, for making me normal. Thank you, Jesus, that I am redeemed. I'm set free. I'm redeemed from the curse of the law. In Jesus' name, glory to God. And get excited and be excited about it. Say it loud, 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 so God can hear you. Shout it from the housetops. Make sure you do these things continually without stop. Go to the judge and insist you be avenged of your adversary. Jesus talked about this parable. By your continually coming to God in faith, it pleases him. Be ruthless, be diligent, and committed in no uncertain terms to see a manifestation of what you need. Don't give up. Don't surrender to unbelief. Cast away passivity. I'll say it again. Cast away passivity. Stay full of joy. Through faith and patience, you can inherit the promises. God will avenge his own elect. When God sees you pass the faith test, and the patience test, and the joy test, when he sees you've done that, and only when he sees you do this, will he answer you speedily. Praise God. Day and night, night and day, day and night, night and day, through faith and patience and with joy, You'll finally ring God's bell. Angels now go forth and release the answer to their prayers. Glory be to God. God has a thousand and one ways to answer your prayers. Stop saying, I don't know how God can do it. It's none about your business. Keep saying, Jesus, you are my miracle worker. Jesus, you are the God who saves my children. I call my children saved and serving you, Jesus, from their hearts. Satan, I call your power bound and broken from off of my children, Tanya, Becky, and Kelly, and I call them free. Hallelujah. And you can put your names of your kids in there, too. My children, Tanya, Becky, and Kelly, are receiving from you, Lord, dreams, revelations, and visions, which are revealing the reality of your presence, Lord, and of your kingdom. Thank you, Jesus. I say, angels of God are creating circumstances in my children's lives, bringing them into full salvation. In Jesus' name, praise God. Lift, lift your voice above them, the smog and fog of this world. Lift your voice above sin. Lift your voice above defeat. 
Lift your voice above wavering. Glory to God. Show God that you believe in Him. He's watching. He's watching. Show Him with your voice. Show Him with, with your cries. Show Him with your diligence and your perseverance. The whole world may think you're weird by standing on God's Word, but recognize the devil as a thief, a robber, or a con man's spirit. Claim things. Claim things. And pray. That you can't, that you can't, uh, that you can't get my, me diverted watching TV or secular entertainment to an extreme. That, yeah, I keep my focus on the Word of God. Say, James 5, 14, 15 is mine. That has to do with healing. Say, James 5, 14, 15 is mine. I've got it now in Jesus' name. The prayer of faith means doubting is all over. Keep the anointing working within you at all times. Mix faith with your praise and joy as well. The devil is crazy, and you need to set him straight. Resist the devil and he will flee from you. Say, I resist the devil and he does flee from me. Praise God. God says, show me. God says, show me your faith. All things are possible to me, for I am a believer and not a doubter. And God doesn't have any blue Mondays or depressed days, nor should I. Say, I am a joint heir, a joint heir with Jesus Christ. Not a sub heir, a joint heir. And I am raised up far above all principalities and powers. And I'm more than a conqueror, not just a conqueror, but more than a conqueror through Christ Jesus my Lord. And I will be full of love, I'll be full of power, I'll be full of peace and grace. I run the devil off in Jesus' name boldly. And I am in the habit of saying when negative circumstances come, Satan, you can't put that on me. I resist you in Jesus' name. Say, I am strong and not weak. Say again, I am strong and not weak. Faith doesn't see anything or feel anything. If, if it did, it would not be faith. I can have anything God says I can, I, I can have. I'm a joint heir with Jesus Christ. I laugh at the devil. God always causes me to triumph, and I, he always causes me to be in the right place at the right time. Glory be to God. And I have favor. I say that I have favor with God and man. And get people into agreement by saying, in Jesus' name, I am free. Have them repeat that. Have them declare that. Have them decree that. After you're done praying for them, have them say, I am healed. I am free. I am delivered. Praise God. Say, I'm not just a natural, but I'm a supernatural person. And I make yourself have some joy whether you feel like it or not. Glory to God. Be excited. Express your, your belief with excitement. Why? Because it is exciting. If you don't express excitement uh, as a part of your faith, I, it's very, very unlikely that you're actually walking by in faith. Why? Because what God promises is 
exciting and it should fill you fill you full of joy. Tell everyone when you're in trouble, just call upon Jesus to help you, and he will if you'll stay in faith and do it boldly. Talk like you have the answers to your prayers, and act like it, talk like it, and act like it, and forgive not, forget not to give thanks to God for everything. Praise God. Faith is thanking God for something before it manifests. Whatever I ask the Father in Jesus' name, he does give it unto me. Glory to God, John 16, 23. Don't forget to thank God for things. He'll forget to answer your prayers. If you if you forget to thank him, he'll forget to answer your prayers. All right? Keep your focus. Protect your heart with all diligence. Or out of it flow the issues of life. Spend, spend your time thanking God for entering your prayers with praise, glory, and joy. With praise, glory, and joy. And he will answer your prayers a lot quicker. The stronger your faith, the quicker the manifestation. Remember, to God, God has a right time for a manifestation. God will turn the world upside down to answer your prayer if you will stand and stay in faith and joy. Break and smash. Break and smash doubt and unbelief through your committed faith. If you allow your mind to wander when the manifestation will come, just know it's not coming. Stop wondering. That, that takes you out of faith. Wondering takes you out of faith. Believe God and be wild and extreme. Uh, and supernatural answers and will come. And say, yes, 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 they will. Praise God. Don't allow your faith to have sadness. I repeat that. Don't allow your faith to have sadness. Let it always be gladness. For to serve the Lord with gladness and be excited about doing so. Tell the devil you can't you can't break me, I promise you that. I know God, and I will be strong in the Lord, and in the power of your might, Lord, and I shall do exploits in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, Daniel 11.32. I am strong, and I will be of a good courage, and I guard my mouth, guard your mouth, speak to your mountains. And don't speak to God about the mountains. You should have a conversation with whatever affliction, whatever problem, whatever mountain comes your way. You can say, if it's cancer or if it's any some other type of affliction or whatever it might be, I'm talking to you. I'm talking to you, problem, you mountain. You can't, you can't do me in. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, you must go. I speak to you and I command you to be removed out of my way. And I believe that I have what I say. Praise God. And the power of life and death is in the tongue. Who his own self bore our sins in his own body on the tree, that we, being dead to sins, should live unto righteousness, by whose stripes you were healed, First Peter 2.24, by whose stripes you were healed, past tense, 2,000 years ago, glory to God, get excited. But he was wounded for our transgressions, Jesus. He was bruised for our iniquities, and the chastisement of our peace 
is upon him and with his stripes we are healed. We are healed. Say, I am healed. I am healed in Jesus' name. Isaiah 53, 5. Be the president of the name it and claim it bunch. And out of the abundance of my heart, my mouth will speak. Talk faith, don't talk doubt. Only believe, only believe, only believe. Is that all I got to do, Lord? Yeah, only believe. Just do what it takes to bring it into manifestation in my name. Do not allow yourself to be defeated with your own lips. Faith is aggressive and is militant with, and, and with it don't walk. And if you don't have this, you won't walk in victory. I'll say again, faith is aggressive and be militant with it. Faith is aggressive and I'll be militant with it. Say it again. Faith is aggressive and I will be militant with it. You don't walk in victory sitting in an easy chair. It isn't a cruise ship we're on, it's a battleship, but we do have weapons of our warfare which work. Glory be to God. Press into the things of God. Press into the things of God. Don't let the cares of this world and the loss of other things get in your way. Smash them down. Break through. Get a break away. Get a home run. Hallelujah. You can do it, the Lord. You, you can do all things through Christ who strengthens you. Your future is stored up in your heart. And don't float into things. I say again, press into things by your militant, strong, determined faith. Don't be distracted. Stay focused. Satan uses scud missiles, and scud is defined as this letters of scud. Satan continually uses distractions. Satan continually uses distractions. Don't be distracted. Praise God. And walk in love. And walk out of don't walk in doubt, discouragement, and quench the fiery darts of the enemy. You have the right stuff, for God lo lives in you, and greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. Praise God.